video thrown in to uh, talk about the brand new Ox software. You might know that, uh, well, I have all the different load boxes there. I even have the Sandrock um, I React IR over there that they sent me after my video I made for the uh, boss was um, so that I can give you a complete overview over everything that's on the market. Now, uh, some things that in my big comparison of all of them, I said about the Ox is that Sound-wise, it would be the way to go for me because it is the most box-in-room kind of a sound because it's not using an ass, it's using speaker modeling, something proprietary that they're doing. But uh, that in two years that it's been on the market, nothing has happened. They haven't improved it. They haven't really thrown in any new speakers. There's still a foot switch input that does zip, not or nothing. Um, and that has changed yesterday when they released version 1.2, I think, of the software, which now adds a couple new caps, primarily V30 caps. And now we have the caps that we need to actually be a little bit more, you know, and also the added foot switch capability. You can't switch the rigs which is kind of a bummer, but you can turn effects on off. So the way I have it set right now is um, there are six rigs. And rig number one it used to be, or still is actually, my Creamback 412, which I like for most reviews and probably will use for everything from now on, uh, as I used to still have been doing in the past. Um, because it's a creamy, it's a kind of middle of the road, beautiful sound. Um, then... Uh, Preset number two, or rig number two, is the same thing with the compressor. Then the same thing with a reverb, and the same thing with the re uh, compressor, reverb, and delay. Now, those are foot switchable. Yeah, the effects can be foot switched, which means it frees up three rigs for me. So that's a big thing. Uh, each rig now, in addition, with, with a foot switch, can be more than just one thing. And then I added this beautiful clean sound that you just heard in the beginning. <laughs> Careful not to push the amp too hard here. Because that's not a speaker designed for drive. Um, and, uh, and I added the California V12 for the heavy stuff, which is why we're armed with this Ormsby amazing brut brutal guitar, seven string fan fret. It's an Ormsby Hype 2 in purple. It's called Pur Paul. It's crazy. Um, so let's just go through what's new and then we're done. Well, there we are. There's me without a head, but that's fine. Um, or, or me with a head because Leslie can actually do that. Yeah, so I'm going to... You see, I still have to... Well, I would kind of have to roll back and switch the rig thing if I didn't have my presets here. So I go to My Sounds, 412 No Compression. That is pretty much also what you see in the background. That is my standard cream back loaded cab. It's, it doesn't have that sparkle high endness that that clean cab had that I caught up. And then I usually would have to go to rig number two, which would be... No, that's rig number here. Yeah. With compression. Then with compression and verb, that's rig number three. It's a quick way to get to a nice uh, reverb sound. And then when I play leads, I always have this on. Compression, reverb, and delay. But no more. I can be on preset number one, and on the table, I have a two button foot switch. You can go up to three buttons. Thank you, Leslie. Um, you can, Leslie up there switching, by the way. Uh, you can go up to three buttons, but I only have a two button foot switch. So in the software, you go to assign, and other than just the six rigs, you can now go one over. You can say what kind of foot switch you have one, two, or three. And I have to 
go to latching because that is the way it works. Otherwise I have to click twice. See if it's on not latching, I click, I click, I click again. So uh, with the inverse and the latch, you have uh, all the uh, options you need to uh, um, adjust it to your foot switch. What is swap? I don't know what swap does. Ah, that foot switch number one does what foot switch number two does. Well, okay. So all you do is you just put a check mark on what you want that thing to switch. And now foot switch number one will switch the EQ and the compression. But I only want the compressor on and off. And foot switch number two will switch the delay and the reverb. That's how simple that is. You can't do more than that. And sadly, you can't switch between rigs, which would be another page they would kind of have to have here. But okay, at least you could switch between, you know, three different rigs. Um, but on the rig, as you can see, there, I can, I'm on rig number one, which had no, nothing on it. That was horribly played, horribly played, horribly played. Compressor is set up a little bit quiet there. Pretty heavy compression, if I might say so. I just love the 1176 on this. It's just, it's superior to everything else. And obviously this interface, when we looked at the tube amp expanders interface, that interface is just ridiculously good. You, you gotta say that. So uh, I can turn that on and off, and I'm actually gonna save that rig. And then I can also have my delay and reverb on. If I go to an amp like the uh, Synergy Syn50 with a Friedman BE, That is absolutely convenient now. Uh, for live, while the sounds are still not coming out of your cap, like with the tube amp expander, um, yet it can definitely give you that, bam, here's my reverb or whatever. It's, it gives you a little bit more live functionality. It still is not gonna fit in a rack. It still is not rack mountable. It's not meant for live. It doesn't have XLR, all that stuff. But still for me here, I don't have to roll back anymore. I always had to do this. in every video, so I don't have to do that. Uh, I just ordered a longer TRS cable from Toman, which hopefully arrives at some point in time. Um, so, uh, moving on, the caps. So we're gonna stay with here, no compression. Let's turn the EQ off, get everything. I have a ribbon and a dynamic 57, that's my standard. So let's actually just compare it to this one. So that's where we are, the white 75. Which is cream, it's a cream bag. So the new stuff, well, let's go to this. There's the JBF120, which it says is great for country, surf and psychedelic rock. Point is, this is a very clean cap. <laughs> You don't want to put drive into it, it sounds like a DI sound. But with cleans, it is super, super sparkling. And so it's great for that. Of course, put some reverb on that. And that's what I actually put on rig six now. And then we have this new one, the JBG125. It's a 112 uh, similar speaker, I guess, for those classic 70s sounds. A 
we go to the uh, JCM, for example, let's see JCM 800, how it handles drive. <laughs> Not too shabby, but this one... So stick with clean sounds for the 120, but of course we want to go... Uh, we compare the white one... Here we go! Greenbacks, Creambacks, that's also green, I use the white. Rounder, but then with the V30. Definitely more scooped. And then the, there's a California one, which is even more scooped. And then obviously you can play with the mics by putting the 57 off axis. Let's go to the Friedman module, that's not how you do that. Sorry, I have a lot of buzz here, that's more me than the thing. Uh, but let's go to the preset that I made, which I call 412 Heavy. Uh, no EQ, as you can see. Dynamic 57 and a 67 condenser. Yeah, 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 let's go to a heavy amp. That's the uh, Ref 100P. Been on single core the whole time. That explains a lot. to what we had before.
So the bottom line is, Ox is better and now it can metal. It rather well, I might say. You can still beautifully dial in the room, have it more direct, have it more roomy. Um, it's a subtle difference. It's probably something that you could have EQ'd with the graphic EQ, uh, taking the mids down a bit and all this, but now this is actually a V30 cap 412 um, California style or British style. They're slightly different um, in the room, which now makes the Ox metal compatible. Um, I also like the, the J. BGs they for for the clean stuff they're a nice addition but what we've been waiting for is that freaking V30 and it's here that really was all the video was about well done universal audio it took you freaking long enough and the foot switch capability for me personally is way cool because I don't have to roll back anymore I will have this on the table next to me for good so one of the big drawbacks of the ox is now gone it still has things to bitch about, but that sounds pretty damn dope. And for me, for presenting these types of instruments, that makes a lot of sense. So, wow. Links below. Animals at the end.